Why is everyone talking about the sharing economy? And what does it have to do with the conservative versus liberal economic policies? With today's technology, people are able to share resources like never before. The sharing economy is the result of ordinary people being able to find and share the products and services they need. Because conservatives believe in the free market, they support the type of innovation that's bringing the sharing economy to life. But liberal economic policies revolve around the exact type of government control the sharing economy wants to avoid. So who wins in the sharing economy? Everyone except special interests and the politicians who love them. For example, let's take taxis versus Uber. The city, which regulates taxis, decides how many are allowed on the road, often leading to shortages. Because taxi drivers are employees of cab companies, the cab company, if not the city, decides where and when they can work. In many cities, a taxi medallion is required to drive people from point A to point B. Unlike a chauffeur's license, you can't get a taxi medallion by passing a test and paying a nominal fee. They can cost hundreds of thousands, and in some cases, even millions of dollars. So many cab drivers rent a medallion and start every day owing instead of earning. Uber drivers win in the sharing economy because they are their own boss. They own their car, they decide who to pick up, where to drive, and when to work. Uber itself wins because it can set its rates based on demand instead of what the city has decided they should charge, and they're not beholden to the special interest groups controlling the city's medallions. Finally, consumers win because Uber responds to the market, putting more cars on the road when and where they're needed. And because Uber drivers are rated by customers instead of regulated by the city government, Uber drivers are motivated to provide a more pleasant experience. The ridiculous taxi medallion racket versus the free market success of Uber is the perfect illustration of how the free market helps businesses, employees, and consumers.